thoughts on what your NFL career has been like to this point? Some highs, some lows. How determined are you to get back to that level and to have a successful NFL career? Man, I, I'm very determined. Um, I got a chip on my shoulder at all times, um, especially now. Um, now that I'm older and I can understand, you know, much better than, you know, when I was younger and didn't, you know, take it like I was supposed to took it and, and handle it like I was supposed to. I wasn't mature enough. And when you're young and you're just leaving college and, and you've been a man since you was 15, it's different. I never had a chance to live a, a childhood. You just said you needed to mature, that you had to learn some hard lessons. What were some of those in that time? Biggest lesson was being able to say no. Say no, because I, and that was one of Coach Saban, you know, only knock on me when, when he sat there, you know, when I told him I was leaving, he said, the only thing I have, you know, that I'm scared about you, Trent, is like your heart's so big. You don't know how to say no. Um, so that and learning and being able to invest in myself more now, um, with time, with my, with my body, um, when it, being able to have peace, um, being able to, you know, just spend more time with my kids because that's myself too. When I talk to you, I've interviewed you a few times now, and every time you talk about your children, mm -hmm. your eyes light up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's football, how many times you saw the end zone, how many rushes you had, yards, carries, whatever. But when you talk about your kids, you get tears in your eyes. Why? Man, yeah, because people don't realize the hard work it takes a male to, to be a successful, strong black father in where I'm coming from, like where I, where I grew up at. And to make it out of Pensacola, um, to even just make it out of high school, like I, already, I already won. Like, when you have a child, like you're already counted out. People don't realize like, I was always a great dad. I was, I was a great dad before I was any good football player. So it, it, it makes me light up because people don't know the fight, the, 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 the hard struggle I had, you know, waking up one in the morning, three in the morning before school and having to change pampers and stuff like that every two hours. Like, you gotta take care of an actual child, like a baby. And now that I have two, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's one of them things where it's like, man, I done came a long way. Like a long way. And now my boys are growing up and then, you know, my girls are older now. So it's, it's different stuff that I go through now. So I gotta be more sensitive and <laughs> I can't be too soft on the boys. So yeah. it's, it's different, you know. As a parent, how often do you think back to the sacrifices that your mom made for you? Man, I, I think about that a lot because it was 11 kids at one time in, in the house and only three of them was hers. Um, and so being able to, to, to have a parent like that that's just open arms and, you know, willing to help and willing to work three different jobs for somebody's kids is not theirs and still, you know, not even seeing the fact that we're below broke and I can never repay her for what she's done for me, and, you know, and over my grandma. When you signed your NLI to go to Alabama, what do you remember about that time and the excitement that you had going to Tuscaloosa? Man, just when I signed, like the people that was in that room, um, it meant a lot to me. Uh, my mom was there, my daughters was there, um, you know, uh, my grandma was there, my, my, my grandpa was here, Coach Boyd was there, a couple of little league coaches, you know, people that, you know, really helped me along the way. One person I didn't hear you say was your father. Was your, has your father ever been a part of your life? Mm -mm. I might have seen him three times. Um, maybe one time he came over one day and spoke to my mom. Or um, last, I uh, seen him at the hospital before he was for the past. He caught cancer my uh, sophomore year. Um, I still went out and seen him every day. Um, and that was just me wanted to, you know, know him. Um, and I never had hatred to him. And my mom didn't raise me that way. She never said nothing negative about him. And I'm the youngest. Um, and, it's, and it's being taught amongst my cousins that my dad didn't want me. Um, he made my mom get a blood test, so it's stuff like that too. But uh, all of that, like, made me fight even harder. And so when I look at my kids, like, I want to be a better father to every one of my kids. Not, not just a group of them, you know, every one of them. You can never be the person parent, but you can, you, you can be in their lives, you can sh teach them the stuff that you need to be taught in a right way. It's fun though, it's fun and it's, you know, and it, and it makes me realize how blessed I am to have 
a set of kids to where I know if anything was to happen to me, they'll be all right.